Welcome back everyone. Today I have another 12 by 12 layout for you. It's a beach theme layout, but it is winter this time round. And the photos are of my son with his dad and they're just walking along Potato Point Beach. All I had done for this layout was go through my stash and pick some papers. And the first paper I fell in love with was from Kaiser Craft. It's from the I'm the State collection and the paper is actually called Driftwood. I'm going to be using this Driftwood paper to match my photos. And this time around I decided that I was going to match all three photos on the one piece of paper. The Perfect Layers Ruler must be my most favourite tool. If you've been following me for a while, you probably know that I use it probably about 90% of the times whenever I need to match photos. I fell in love with this paper the minute I saw it in my stash. To me, it conveys that message of it being a cold winter's day and it just having a stroll on the beach. The actual paper is from Courtier Creations. It's from their Sea Breeze collection and I believe the paper is called Adventurous. I knew that I was going to match this paper, so that's why I'm trimming all four sides. And I believe I trimmed about two millimetres on all four sides because I just wanted to, when I mat it, it's only going to be a very small mat. The paper that I chose to use as a mat is from Kaiser Craft. It's from the Deep Sea Collection and the paper is actually called Snowfoot. Off camera, I digged up my paper and I'm just going to be using now a distressing tool to distress all four edges. If you don't have one of these little gadgets, don't worry, your scissors will do just fine to rough up your paper. I'm going to do one of my favourite little things that I like doing and that's to ink my edges. And this time round, I chose the colour Chip Sapphire from my Distress Oxides. I just thought it was the perfect colour to ink all these edges that I had roughed up. This time round, I decided to use some wet glue to adhere my paper onto the mat only because I wanted to have that little bit of wiggle time. And if I'd used my ATG gun or double sided tape, you know, if I'd got it wrong, I was going to blend up wrecking my paper. This is my original paper, the Driftwood paper, and I love that wood grain look. So I want to use it, but there's not much of it left. So what I'm going to do is um, what I call a bit of paper piercing. I'm just going to cut two, two strips and I'm going to attach one to the top and one to the bottom and it's going to look like I have a whole sheet of paper when in actual fact I don't. Out of the corner of my eye I saw this gorgeous branding strip and I thought yes I'm going to use it on this layout. It actually says as free as the ocean and I just thought that it went so well with everything. I believe it could be from the Kaiser Craft paper, the Driftwood one. I am loving how this layout came together. So my next step was to use this gorgeous sticker sheet. It's from Kaiser Craft and it's from the Coastal Escape Collection. As you can see, I have not used a collection for this layout. It's just all my bits and pieces from my stash. They're not any one collection. It's just random pieces of paper that I've had left over and or have been sitting in there forever. And it just goes to prove you don't need a collection to scrapbook. Papers from different manufacturers, different collections can all work together perfectly well. The layout was starting to look a little bit too clean for my liking, so I'm going to go in and do a little bit of mixed media. I'm just using the packaging technique where you just add some colour onto some packaging and you add some water and then you smoosh it down onto your piece of paper. For this first layer of colour, I have not added gesso to my paper. The reason being was I wanted that intense colour of sort of a stormy sky. Does that make any sense? I'm going to be doing a second layer of the packaging technique. But before I do the second layer, I am going to give this paper a coat of clear gesso. So I'm not going to bore you with the second layer of the packaging technique. I'm sure you know what to do. And I am using a slightly different colour, but just by adding the gesso, it does give the pattern on the paper a different effect. It does look like a big mess now, but it does turn out in the end, I promise. So I've got this stamp set, and to me, this stamp set looks like bubbles, whether it's meant to be or not, I don't know. I did try it originally with some ink, but that I didn't really like the look of the, the white ink. So what I'm doing, I'm going to do some heat embossing but I didn't have the right colour. I wanted a blue with a tinge of white or a white with a tinge of blue, whatever you want to call it. 
how I made my own. I added about three scoops of white embossing powder into a little container and then I added one uh, of these little teaspoons into this little container. I shook it, it wasn't quite the right colour so I, I went in and I added a little bit more, gave it another bit of a shake and I love the texture. It gave me the little, the, the white foam that I was after for, you know, the the foam that the waves do as they wash up onto the onto the beach. And it added little touches of little blue grains. Um, I, it's hard to explain, but I hope you can see it in the in the close-up shots. But it was just an absolute, it just, I just loved it. I'm going to be trying to mix my embossing powders more in the future because it just gave something different. I, I really can't explain it. And I don't know what I was thinking when I decided to do this technique, but I'm really glad that it popped into my head. So as you can see, uh, off camera, I did lots of more embossing. I just didn't want to bore you with the same technique over and over again. Really, really happy with the end result. And I went through my stash of bits and pieces and saw this lovely little old vellum sticker, which I put down there on the right hand corner of the photo and it says any man can be a father but it takes a special person to be a dad and then I found this little strip of paper that was left over from when I cut the edges of the paper and I just want to put that little bit of extra blue dividing the two papers and I quite like how that looks I found this little chipboard, oh no, it's actually a wood veneer, and that says life's a beach, so I thought that was quite appropriate being a beach layout. I went to my computer and I did a little bit of journaling, cut it out, and I'm just sticking it on now. What else have I done to this layout? I think this is mainly it. Um, yeah, I just want you to see some of the close-up embossing powder that I made up. And really, really happy. And it just goes to prove you can mix all your collections of paper all together. One little last sticker which says sun, sand and sea. And I think this layout is complete. I'd like to thank you all for watching. Until next time. And if you haven't already done so, I would love it if you subscribe to my growing little channel. I hope to bring you weekly videos. And time permitting, I would love to add some more. Look at the close-up of that embossing powder. I um, hope you, you're still here to see it. Anyway, till next time, I hope you're all well. Take care and look after each other. Bye, everybody.